Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 842. Hey, if you want to download the sort book 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video, we just have a, a simple task. We have a column with some names, and we want to mark in this B column whether it's a duplicate or not. Now, there's a great feature for removing duplicates. Data, remove duplicates. This is in 2007 and 10. Totally easy to use, but sometimes you don't want to do that. You actually want to mark it. So this is a formula that will do that. Do that. Let's look at the count if. Now the count if function can count given a certain criteria. The trick here is we're going to put instead of like a range and lock it, we're going to put a range and I'm going to click on cell A2 and then I'm going to colon. I'm going to lock just the first A2 with the F4 key once and twice to lock the row reference. That means that range is locked for A2, but this one is not. So as we drag down, it will be an expandable range. That's the range, comma, the criteria, that cell right there, relative cell reference. Now check this out. Anytime when it sees the first Joe, it's going to count one, but down here it'll count two. Because our goal here is to um, mark the first one as non-duplicate and the second one as a duplicate. Let's see what this count if with an expandable range does. I'm going to double click that and send it down. So we have two twos here. So now we can convert from this ones and twos to a logical formula where we get a true or false by taking the result of that and saying any time that is greater than one. That is a logical formula comparative using a comparative operator. It will control enter give us true and false. Now we can simply use that in an if function. Logical test, it needs a true or false. Comma, the value of true, what do I want to see if it's a duplicate? In double quotes, DUP or whatever you want. Otherwise, what do I want to see? I don't want to see anything. Now we'll put a null text string, double quote, which shows nothing. Control enter and then double click and send it down. And so there we have our dupe. All right, we'll see you next trick.